EFF Member of Parliament, Vusi Koza, recently revealed that his connection to an economically disadvantaged constituency in Atikwini played a significant role in his loss of lucrative political position. Koza admitted that his failure to fill buses with attendees for the EFF's birthday celebration led to his dismissal. Koza's admission sheds light on the intricate dynamics of political representation and the expectations placed on elected officials. Coming from an economically challenged constituency, Koza faced the challenge of rallying support for the party's events. His inability to fill buses with attendees for a crucial party occasion became a pivotal factor in his departure from his political role. The incident underscores the pressures faced by politicians to demonstrate their influence and popularity, often measured by the ability to attract crowds to party functions. For Koza, the inability to garner sufficient attendance translated into a loss of his position. This scenario highlights the fine balance that politicians must maintain between their constituents' needs and the demands of their political party. Koza's story also raises questions about the representation of the marginalized communities in the political arena. Economic disparities and challenges faced by his constituencies might have hindered his efforts to mobilize support. This situation brings to light the broader issue of equitable political engagement, as individuals from less privileged backgrounds may encounter barriers in fulfilling party-related responsibilities. In conclusion, Vusikoza's revelation about his departure from a prominent political role due to his inability to fill buses for an EFF event sheds light on the complexities of political representation. His background in a disadvantaged constituency highlights the challenges he faces or faced in meeting party expectations. This incident serves as a reminder of the intricate interplay between political party requirements and the diverse realities of the communities that politicians represent.